y'all and welcome back to Big Bear Gear Reviews. If you like what you see, please leave a like, share, subscribe and hope you enjoy the show. Hello y'all, welcome back to the show. Today I want to talk about a machete. This one right here. This is the um, Skiff machete, uh, Kukri machete. Kukri is my favorite style, y'all love machete, sword. And, uh, I'll talk about the uh, history, the little bit that I know of it in uh, a little bit. Right now I just want to tell you what I'm doing. It's a uh, nice, feels really good in the hand. This is the, the I've had the cold steel, uh, the, the, the cheapest, the cheaper one that they have, which I uh, really didn't like. This one actually sits really nicely in the hand. As you can see, it's comfortable for, um, you know, chopping, which is what I mainly use it for gardening purposes, which you'll see in the video. I have a bunch of weeds that grow really close to the house and like a tree type weed and if you don't cut it down it uh, ruins the uh, walls and uh, AC units. This one. I have a paracord lanyard. This is a glow in the dark. I put my hand through it so I get a good uh, purchase. So even if it does fly out of a hand it won't fly and hit someone. Um, the one thing I do like is if I do need to get up and you're on close, I can grab it like this and give you enough little uh, carving or small chopping um, options. Normally I would say I would try this, you know, with food, you know, throw a nice person or, you know, chop some food. But um, due to the fact this has been cutting weeds and other crap and I've never really cleaned it. I do believe I sharpened it once since I got it. Um, I'm not going to try cutting food with it. It's just not going to happen. So I have a it comes with this nice sheath, as you can see. It uh, goes in as a two retaining straps on the blade and one on the uh, handle. So when it's in the sheath, it's not going anywhere. It's a um, what is this thing called? Like a nylon corduroy sheath. I keep it on a uh, belt. I don't normally have it on me, I'm going to admit, I normally just have it with the belt so I could carry it on my person if I want to. So, this is the Skiff Kukri Machete. And, uh, let's see what it can do.
Alright, so a good kukri shouldn't only be a uh, chopping weapon. Okay, I'm being watched by a cat over there, that's a little weird. It's not even my cat. But you should also be able to uh, stand. So number one, after all that chopping, it's a rubber mold, it's not going anywhere. My hand's a little beaten up, but that's because I've been chopping for three hours straight. So, you should also be able to uh, stab the weapon. So I have this here, which is a uh, electric pole. I'm not going to stab a tree if I don't have to, so let's stab the electric pole. So as you can see, the uh, skiff kukri is not only a pretty good uh, chopper, even after three hours I feel like I can go for a little longer. Um, so it's a pretty good uh, stabbing weapon. I don't know if you can hear the skiff company. It's um, 33 centimeters. You'll see that in uh, the sizes when I can comparison when I talk about it. What do I have to say about this knife? This one, machete. I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, history and utility of the blade itself. So this is a uh, kukri. It comes from, uh, the style of blade comes mainly from uh, Nepal. Or India and Nepal. Um, this, of course, is a yeah, they probably made in China. I bought it through the U.S. Um, so, the knife itself is a chopping blade, very front heavy, as you guys can see. It's heavier here, bigger here. It's a very chopping oriented blade, as you guys saw in the videos before. Um, it's based off, at least if you ask me, and I'm sure there's a lot of, um, I've seen these on many uh, YouTube videos, so I kind of think that might be true to it. So they're based off the Greek um, swords, the Kopis and the Felkara. So it's based off of the Kopis and the uh, Felkada, probably also after the Spartan sword, which was made famous by the movie 300. Um, normally, a kukri comes with two smaller well, tools. One of them is they're called the karda and the chum, chak, chakmak. I, I hope I'm pronouncing them right. Maybe not, but I hope so. One of them is a small utility blade, and the other one is a sharpening rod or a honing steel for the uh, knife or the, uh, the kukri which was used, of course, as a big chopping sword. It's great for on horseback because, while well, it's a great chopper, you can chop right through the enemy's helmets. Um, this one, of course, being a uh, modern take on the Kukri, it doesn't have the two smaller swords. You can source the two smaller tools. You can get Kukris with them. Now, the Kukris were great military used blades, especially they were used a lot in the, well, of course, in the, um, in the uh, Nepalese army, sorry, but also in the British Royal Army, there's the, the, uh, they might still be in service today as uh, service swords, but I know that the British adopted it probably around the time where they took over India. I'm not a historian, I didn't really check this up, I'm just giving you a quick look back about the style of machete that I have. Most um, kukris are around 40 to 45 centimeters. This one is, well, they can go up longer, I'm sure. I just, this is the ones I've seen, the historic ones. This one is a little shorter. Normally, they also have here, or the, the cutting blade, and the cutting ends about here, and there's a little um, there's unsharpened area here. On a traditional kukri, there's normally like a horse hoof shape cut out. I've seen many debates, and no one can give you a definitive answer what it's for. Personally, I really like this uh, skiff one. So it says an MK2. I mean, that's Mark II or just a uh, designated uh, design number. Sorry. So as you can see, this one is filthy. I chopped it through a bunch of trees. I'm headed to come in for a meeting. In between meetings, I'm doing this uh, little checkup and explaining a little bit about the, the blade. So this one has pretty decent retention with the uh, three straps. What else can I say about, about the uh, kukri in general? 
my favorite style of a machete blade. I don't know why, I just like the uh, chopping thing. Uh, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all on another day.